Are you? Okay. Yeah. All right, folks, once again, um, we are joined by one of our NASCAR Spring Cup Series drivers here in the Kansas Speedway press conference room now is Martin Truex Jr., driver of the number 78 Furniture Row and Visser Precision Chevrolet. Um, Martin, as it stands right now, you're in good shape in the chase standings, but as we see with this format, anything can happen, and the best way to really secure a spot in that eliminator round is to go out and win a race. And Kansas is a track that you've run well at uh, throughout your career, including a, a ninth place finish here in the spring. So just talk a little bit about that opportunity that, that you're presented with this weekend. Yeah, it's a big weekend for us, obviously. Looking forward to uh, racing here at Kansas Speedway. and. It's been a good track for us uh, as a as a team. It's been a good track for me as a driver. So, uh, you know, with Talladega Lumen next week, we're uh, we're hoping for a great weekend. All right, we'll go ahead and open things up. Please raise your hand. We'll get you a wireless mic. State your name and affiliation. Start right here in the front with Todd with the star. Go to Jared and then Jerry. Hey, Martin. Todd Palmer, KC Star. I, I was just curious. You guys are kind of in a unique situation where you're located, being a one you know one car team. What are some of the advantages and disadvantages in your mind of, of being in that spot, position? Well, I think the advantage for us is it's easy to focus on, you know, where we're at, what we're doing, um, not worry about other other teams, other cars in our stable, anything like that. So uh, we're ultra focused on the 78 car and um, and doing everything we can to try to be one of those four to make it to Homestead. So uh, so far everything's gone gone really well and uh, everybody's done a great job and uh, just, you know got to finish it off. None. All right, uh, right back to Jared and then behind him to Jerry. Uh, Jared Turner, FoxSports.com. Uh, Martin, a few days ago you sent out the following tweet. It said, most don't see us, we're still here. <laughs> you like uh, that? Yeah, it was good. I, I want you to kind good. of um, elaborate on that a little bit and just talk a little bit about the fact that, um, you know, why it is you think maybe people aren't paying that much attention to you guys, despite the fact that you've been so strong really mm. the entire year. Um, I'm not sure. You'd have to answer that. Well, <laughs> um, I don't have any idea. I mean, it's pretty yeah, obvious. Yeah. I mean, do you like sort of flying under the radar? I guess that's a better question. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's a perfect position for us to be in. The only pressure we have is what we put on ourselves. You know, we know what we're capable of, and if we fall short of that, we're going to be disappointed. So there's no outside pressure. There's no, you know, expectations for us. It's all about our expectations for ourselves. Uh, within our group, and we know what we're capable of. And like I said, if we don't, you know, if if we don't perform the way we know we can, then we're going to be disappointed. We don't have to worry about what anybody else, you know, really says about it or, or thinks about it. So, it's a good position to be in. It's a fun position for us. Uh, we're really challenging ourselves. Cole's challenging the team, the guys at the shop, the cars we're building, and um, you know, really, it's you know, we're just going. We're we're pretty much just doing everything we can and know how to do to to try to you know finish this thing off as strong as possible. All right, Jerry. Jerry Jordan, kicking the tires in PRN. Uh, I want to follow up, actually, that was kind of like my question, but do you guys have a, take solace in knowing that you're, you've done well for most of the season and, you know, people are calling you an underdog or, or the sleeper? Uh, I think it's kind of neat, you know. I mean, it, we are. If you look at it, we are an underdog, you know. Um, I've never finished in the top ten in points. Um, you know, got a rookie crew chief, a single car team in Denver. There's a lot of things that, uh, you know, that make us an underdog, you know, small team. So, uh, I th like I said, I think it's a cool position to be in. I think that we don't get enough credit for what we've done this year. But at the same time, you know, we don't have that, that past history or that track record in, in the chase or in championship battles. So, um, you know, I think it's fair, but I, I think it's, uh, it's kind of a fun position for us to be in. Up here in the front left, Mike. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Martin, you had a dominant car here in the last race this year at Kansas. Uh, can you talk about that race and what kind of car you might have this weekend? Yeah, we did. We had a great weekend in general. Uh, qualified well, was fast, you know, all throughout practice, and had a really great race. And um, and it came down to to pit strategy and, and tire strategy calls that that kind of. Um, you know, took us out of, out of the running for that win, but, uh, you know, really feel good about coming back here. I think we've made some really good progress on our race cars since then. Uh, you know, a lot of guys have, obviously. I think that the competition level has really stepped up, and 
you know, we've kind of had to follow suit. But uh, I was pleased with you know, what we had at Charlotte last week and the direction we're headed. And, uh, and I think this would be a great weekend for us. All right, we'll head to the back of the room for Lee. I have an easy question, Martin. Can you talk about your new sponsor, Western, U or Western Union, and, and what it means um, to bring in a new category and a new sponsor to NASCAR? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, we're really excited about it, uh, obviously, having Western Union on there. Uh, not only worldwide company, but based in Denver, which is really cool for Barney and, and Joe and everybody. So uh, it's a big deal for us. We're, we're obviously looking for sponsors going down the road in the future, and this is kind of the first step in that direction. So I'm uh, really proud to have them on the car, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll give them a good ride and get them excited about doing some more next year. We'll stay there in the back and then come back up to Dustin. Chris Knight, catchfence.com. Martin, I know uh, Talladega is next weekend, and you had a good finish last weekend at Charlotte, which helps you for Talladega. But if things don't go well here on Sunday and you have to race your way into the chase at Talladega, what kind of approach do you guys take? I don't plan on that happening. <laughs> Let's talk about that next week. <laughs> um, you know, honestly, we're completely focused right now on Kansas. You know, we know what we can get done here. I think if we can uh, come out of here with a top five, we'll feel pretty good. Um, a win, obviously, is, is really what everybody's after. So, um, you know, again, we're going to do all we can to try to get that done this weekend, and, uh, and we'll worry about Talladega when we get there. Right, we'll go to the middle. Dustin, Tyler, and then back over here to David. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Uh, five of the top six guys in points have been with their current teams three seasons or less. You're one of them. Interesting. Uh, a lot of, there was that period of a lot of movement uh, a couple years back. Is that a coincidence or – how do you look at having success? I know it took you guys a little time to build, but having it in, a, and I guess, a relatively short period of a year or two seasons uh, when you move into a new organization. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, teams, drivers, everybody in the garage is always looking for that, you know, better situation or, you know, best situation they can possibly get themselves into. So I think it's just coincidence that it happened that way, you know, this year. Uh, a lot of this sport's about timing. You, you see certain manufacturers and certain teams and certain drivers through you know, kind of that revolving door of, you know, who's really, really good at what point in the season or what season. So um, I think it's probably more coincidence than anything that, uh, that you know, that's kind of happened that way. Tyler. Hey, Martin. Tyler Burnett, MRN. Mine's kind of a fun question. Um, what was your favorite Halloween costume when you were younger or uh, your favorite Halloween memory? That's a good question. Uh, I didn't really get into Halloween too often. I mean, I dressed up and went out trick-or-treating and all, but I don't think I really got too into my costume. For me, it was more about uh, what was the least amount of effort I could put into my costume and still get candy. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, we'll come right over here to the left to David. Uh, Martin, David Scott from the Charlotte Observer. What are your thoughts on the uh, Aero package for 2016? Uh, for 2016, obviously, I think it's going to be great. I think, uh, you know, the two races we had low down for us were, were great shows. I think everybody was really excited about that. Uh, drivers loved it. Fans loved it. I think everybody's just, uh, you're looking forward to, to going further down that road and see what we can make out of it. So there's going to be, uh, there's going to be some challenges to it. You know, Goodyear, I think, has probably got the biggest challenge of, you know, certain racetracks. It's going to be really tough to develop a tire that, that does what we want it to do as drivers. But, um, you know, it's going to be uh, it's going to be great. I think it's going to put it more in the driver's hands. You know, it's going to be uh, cars drive better in traffic, worse by themselves. I mean, that's really what we're all looking for. So uh, it should be good. All right, back over here to the right. Hi, Martin. Kathy Sheldon with NASCAR.com. With so many drivers looking for a win this weekend to kind of avoid the wild card at Talladega, how dicey do you expect it to be on Sunday? How nice? Dicey. <laughs> oh, dicey. <laughs> I was going to say it's not going to be nice. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it'll be that much different than, than really since we went to Chicago. I think if you look at all the, the chase races, it's really been intense. I think, you know, just looking at the restarts and the things that have happened, it's been, uh, you can really feel it out there that everybody's, you know, pushing as hard as they can all the time to get every position. Um, so I don't think it'll be, you know, anything out of the ordinary for, for the, you know, what we've had so far or what we've seen last year in, in the chase races with guys fighting after the race and all that. So it's, uh, man, you've got to get everything you can. You can't afford to give up a few spots here and there, and everybody's uh, being aggressive and trying to take all they can get. All right, all the way over to the left now. Scott Trailer, Race Boys Broadcasting Network. You feel that the fan support that you have has increased over the years. You've had all this adversity you've had to deal with on the track, off the track. Um, you're your spokesperson for uh, 
getting the word out about early detection for ovarian cancer. Do you feel that all of that has made your crowd or your fan base expand a little bit because you've had to deal with so much? Um, I guess it probably has. I think, you know, unfortunately, success on the track kind of brings more fans and, and you know, more people rooting for you than anything. You know, I, the things I do away from the racetrack are things I do because my heart's in it. So it's not really to gain fans or to gain attention or gain anything like that. It's great that I have extra attention with the runs we're having because it helps me, you know, get that work done off the racetrack. But um, I've always had a great fan base. Obviously not the biggest one, but I have a lot of loyal fans, and they've been great to me over the years. All right, any final questions in the room for Martin? Great, Martin. Thanks for joining us. Thank Best you. of luck this weekend.